Namaste everyone to Awakening Through the Night, The Art of Gurakesha Meditation. This is Aruna Chaleshwari from Dallas, Texas. And today I have a great pleasure of introducing our Grandmaster Prabodh Achita Garu. He is an internationally renowned meditation teacher with over 20 years of dedicated practice, known for his profound mastery of night meditation and reaching state of ultimate bliss. He is known as the god of dreams. He has the rare gift of lucid dreaming and astral travel. Grandmaster Prabodh Achyutagaru is creator of powerful Gudakesha meditation program, which opens the door to human consciousness by helping individuals gain mastery over sleep and thoughtlessness. His signature 40-night workshops have transformed lives by reducing stress and leading participations. I'm sorry. Uh, leading participants to inner peace and bliss. He has conducted these workshops in countries like India, the USA, England, Wales, Dubai, and Thailand. In addition to being a meditation master, he holds a black belt in Taekwondo and is the author of the book Guda Kesha. It is published in six languages, sharing his wisdom with the world. I welcome you. Um, Sir, to this beautiful program of uh, learning the art of Gurakesha meditation. Uh, we thank you for your presence and your time here. We want to know more about Gurakesha. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you for the warm welcome. Thank you very much. Yes. So to start with, how did your meditation journey start? And after starting the meditation journey, how long it took for you to uh, start the Guda Kesha? Yeah, I started my meditation journey in 2002 by seeing the magazine Dhyananda Pradesh. Now it's called as Dhyan Jagat. And uh, after seeing that, I contacted the nearest center, meditation center, and I learned meditation from, from Vijay Kumari Madam. She's my first guru who taught me meditation. And uh, after two years, I, I started my journey to Buddha Kesha. First, half, first two years, I was doing half an hour, one hour of meditation. After two years, I, I got a motivation to do all night meditation. Thank you. Beautiful. So, how did you make a decision to commit to this intense practice? Because you definitely need a lot of dedication and you have been doing it since over 20 years now. So, what were your initial experiences like? Yeah, so definitely to uh, continue consistent practice, we need motivation and inspiration. So one motive, one inspiration is from Ramashri Subhash Patiji Garu. He learned meditation through his friend Ramachandra Edigar. He started online meditation. He learned, he practiced online meditation. Then he taught meditation to Ramashri Subhash Patiji. And Patiji also started online meditation. Initially, initial first few decades of his meditation is online meditation. And then he started teaching to meditation to everyone. And at the time, he was also giving guidance to the people who are sincere and who are who he could see the potential. Only a few people he was guiding all in meditation, but otherwise publicly he was telling to everybody that meditate whatever is your age, that many minutes minimum. So many people forgot about that minimum, that many minutes, but they are doing that many minutes only. So that is my motivation from Brahmashi Subhash Patsiji. He started doing all night meditation. And my mentor, my teacher, after Vijay Kumari Mehta, uh, he, initially she started, she, she taught me meditation. After that, my mentor is Jivan Master. He also started meditation journey by all night sitting. He was sitting all night by 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. He was sitting, morning 8 p.m. He used, 8 a.m. He used to wake up. So 12 hours meditation, one sitting he used to do for three months. So these two are inspirations, two masters are inspirations for me. And one time when I was doing my meditation in my terrace in 2004, after two years of my journey, two years of my journey, uh, then at the time from the sky, I was sitting under the sky in the terrace, five evening, five o'clock to 5, 20, 20 minutes meditation I was doing at the time. For two minutes in my body, every cell is exploded like with a joy, exploded like an atom bomb. Kind of that kind of explosion of joy happened. And of course, uh, cannot be described, but on that day, my mind and brain and body, every cell reprogramming happened. 
I want this this one more time in my life. Till that time, I was a lenient, casual person. Take it easy. It's okay, lazy. It's okay. Life happens. It's okay. We don't need to be so much tense. I never came past tank in my school school days or college days. Never. I was a casual person, easily satisfied person. But at that time onwards, in my life, first time a dissatisfaction is coming. Next day onwards, whatever I do, hey, I want to get that experience. What am I doing? Every single second, I wanted to utilize it. That day, almost a completely reprogramming happened. That day, almost a certain motivation automatically it came. Every cell. Then, almost I wanted to get that experience one more time. If I get that experience in my life, my life purpose is solved. That's what that kind of a feeling I was getting. So that's the reason I started doing online meditation because in the morning time we don't have the time because as PSS. Uh, masters, uh, guide, uh, teachers are guiding us for samsara and nirvana. So morning time we need to do our jobs and social responsibilities, family. And night time only we have the time. So I wanted to utilize that night time fully, fully every single second. So of course at the time I was uh, not knowing how to do it, utilize it all night fully. But every night is an opportunity. So let me utilize every opportunity. That's what I, the motivation I got it. Thank you. Beautiful. So, um, looking at uh, your masters, you kept yourself motivated all all these uh, years. And so, when you started this journey, what were your biggest challenges? Like, could be physical or uh, mental challenges you faced while practicing Guru Kesha, especially in the early years. Yeah, only one challenge I faced is. Physically, I don't have any pains. Many people ask me, hey, you're sitting all night. Uh, won't you get pains? Like, uh, no, they're, they're asking surprise, won't you get any pains? Then I said, will you get any pains? Like, uh, because uh, many people get pains first few days, right? <laughs> so pains are uh, the initial hurdle for the meditation for many people. 90% of the people, pains will be more if you are doing more meditation, more and more meditation. That's uh, in, the, in the, it's written in the scriptures. So especially online meditation, if anybody is doing first two, three days, they'll get the pains. Okay, but I don't have that, that problem. So what I got the problem is my laziness. I was uh, at the time, just to stop my non-veg eating. Okay? Just after two years of my meditation also, first two years I was maintaining, uh, I was eating non-veg also. But after that, that experience, somehow it, it changed my programming, right? So just to stop my non-veg eating. And, but still, the thamogana body is there, uh, laziness kind of a thing. So when I was sitting all night, I wanted to sit all night in the chair, but whenever I don't know when I used to go to my bed and sleep. So initially a few months are like that. I used to sincerely sit with the intention to sit all night. But when I wake up, when I open my eyes, I was in the bed. So it's like that. The first few months like that. Then I, I was a chess player. I'm a chess player. So a little bit chess, I know. So, okay. I was having clarity in the morning time. Conscious mind is very clear that I wanted to do all night meditation. Morning to evening, I have the clarity. In the night time, I don't know when it's happening, why it is happening, when I am going to bed, I, I don't even know. Then I felt like, what is happening? Like without knowing, I, I, I was going, standing up, and just that is just near to my chair, three feet. So when I'm walking these three feet and going on to bed, I never know. I was having that kind of a complete unconsciously I was walking and going to bed and I was sleeping. Then I felt very bad about it. We, our life should be consciously, we should live the life. Why unconsciously I was going to bed? And I don't even know, right? So that one I felt very bad about it. And I wanted to improve that. Conscious. Sleep is like a death. So mini death. So I wanted to have the sleep consciously. So then uh, I got, after a few months, I got one idea. But let me do one uh, strategy. I don't know when I'm going, right? So let me tie myself with the bed sheet to the chair. So <laughs> then I was tying myself. With one knot, I was still not knowing at all. Two knots also, I, I was not knowing when. Uh, two knots opening, I'm going to the bed. I don't even know when I'm opening the two knots, I'm going to bed, right? So next three knots I did after a few days. Yeah, three knots, then I, then I was, after third knot opening, then I was realizing, oh, okay, I'm aware. Okay. And open the third knot. At least I'm aware. 
and after standing up then i have full clarity that at the time no thinking no thoughts no words go to bed now going to bed is most important for in your life that's what the feeling i was getting from each and every step so i was going to bed and sleeping again <laughs> so after, like that few days happened morning time i was having full clarity that i wanted to sit all night but all at uh, the night time when i opened the third knot when i am aware then i was having 100% clarity that let me go and sleep then i got it's a kind of complete contrast feeling i was having in the night times i am having full clarity to go and sleep lie down and sleep morning time full clarity not even 1% doubt 100% clarity that all night i wanted to do meditation i observed this for few days then again because i am a chess player i wanted to see what can i do any strategy any ideas then uh, one idea came but after third not open let me use the restroom otherwise take water just break just a two minutes break went to go into kitchen and water otherwise just restroom break after that coming back to chair then i think now what shall i do shall i go and sleep or shall i sit and meditate by the time i took some break two minutes or three minutes break walking and everything then uh, by the time i'm consciousness my conscious awareness came okay we are like we are two parts we are having conscious part and subconscious part in the night time uh, sleepy time uh, subconscious mind is taking control as it is asking me to go to bed right so now i am conscious now whenever i am conscious immediately 100% clarity that let me sit all night because sitting all night because meditating gives gives me progress instead of i want to utilize all the night instead mm -hmm. of lying down as unconscious unawareness let me meditate so that my experience i, I might have second time i want to have second one more time the bliss, ultimate bliss experience the enlightenment experience i wanted to have so then then i again i sat with my time three knots and uh, then uh, that's all i used to continue like that that's all then it continued like that that's the initial challenge i got it of course my after that also many things coming but uh, every time because of the chess chess strategy right chess player if anything i'm losing i'll see what can i how can i win next step next step like that i was uh, going and proving like that yes amazing so you always kept yourself positive and uh, looked for ways how to continue the meditation journey beautiful yes how did your family and society react when you first began practicing Guda Kesha? And like, did you face any resistance or doubt from these, uh, I mean, from people around you? How did you handle the reactions? Yeah, actually, uh, my mom is very much stopping me for not even Guda Kesha. But before, before her meditation, only if, I, if I'm sitting in meditation, we, after one minute, she used to call me and say that, bring sugar from the uh, from the general store or something or other. Then I was uh, thinking that, hey, mom, from childhood onwards, she's a very good planner. Okay, Every month, uh, she was uh, she was bringing all wholesale, uh, everything she brings, everything, all at a time, a monthly once or 50, every 15 days once, right? Then I got surprised. Just one day after happening five to six times, one day after I brought the sugar or something, then I checked the, uh, in my home. Sugar dabba is there already five ten kilos dabba is already there, but she still she's being asking. Then I realized, okay, mom doesn't want me to do meditation. Then uh, I was uh, I was having one terrace right uh, on the terrace. I was having one uh, one room on top on top of the room. We, I need to climb using the stair uh, instead of staircase. Uh, uh, used to ladder is there, so using that ladder I need to climb, and after that I need a little bit jump that, uh, and after that I, I in the evening evening time. Lot of mosquitoes are there at the time. At the time, uh, I used to go because after coming from college, I used to go and sit in the uh, in that place for twenty minutes. I used to do meditation. Mom also probably doesn't get that uh, doubt that um, I wanted to go and walk on the other side. When I say, Mom says okay because I uh, because a uh, lot of mosquitoes are there, big big mosquitoes. Nobody can expect that one can sit and meditate. So probably he wants to just walk walk around. That's what she used to think. Like that, I used to do meditation initially, and uh, sometimes I uh, used to. Uh, that means uh, I was meditating. Uh, usually, I take twenty minutes bath, right? So let me take the quick bath, five to ten minutes bath, and after bath, let me meditate. I was meditating after bath, one or two minutes. It is five minutes. I want. I wanted to meditate, but uh, because the bathroom is in the hall, my mom used to 
listen automatically. She used to ask, what are you doing? No, there is no sound of water. What's, what's happening? She used to ask me. Then I said, okay, so I cannot do even in bathroom also. So I was uh, trying to, uh, all different ways. So initially, but uh, I plan, because I'm a chess player, I uh, created such a certain incident that so that my mom also come came into meditation. I, without I teaching her, I created one situation that uh, uh, mom uh, mom wants to talk with everyone. Actually, that's her uh, strength and weakness. Or uh, basically, she wants to she loves talking with all the people. So I said that uh, mom uh, one day uh, I I asked my friend Jeevan Master that uh, I wanted to come in your car. Uh, to the meditation center for 3G classes there. But mom, uh, suddenly project work is there. I cannot uh, go today because I need to work some homework is there. Important things are there. So, but uh, one thing is already they already, uh, from one week before only I told them and they got a seat for, for me in their car. Someone seat record in there. But if I, if I say that I got some other work, that seat they will not, next time also they will not give, right? So we need to have that seat. Is, seat is very important, mom. If possible, you go Anyways, uh, anyways, if I go also, it will be boring. They'll be talking a lot. I said that, but they'll be talking a lot, mommy. They'll be asking and they'll be talking a lot. I don't like talking. So uh, probably I, I don't want to go. But if you go, that better. Then I said, then she also felt very good. Oh, maybe they're talking. That's good, right? So while going 45 minutes talking and while coming 45 minutes talking only, yeah, what, if they, they, they'll be doing 10, 15 minutes meditation, but all meditation energies we lose by talking only mommy here. That's what I said. But she is liking it. Talking with she likes a lot, right? So, and also I kept the sentiment that if I don't go now, next time also they will not give the seat in that car, right? Mom, can you go and cover for me? Then she said, oh, let me, it's okay, I'll cover for you. And she went there. And uh, while going also, our pyramid masters, are, they are all talking. Uh, and uh, she felt very good about it and attended the Patisa's program. At the time, immediately she got, she saw uh, Sai Baba in her vision. Immediately, first, uh, in a few minutes of meditation. And while coming back in the car, she told that experience and everybody clapped. And she felt very happy. Then she also learned meditation. And uh, after learning meditation also, uh, first one year, I haven't mastered my anger. The first one year, whenever I get anger, right? Uh, then she used to say, Hey, why don't you do go and do meditation? Earlier she was stopping like that, but now you're getting anger, you, you do and my, go and do meditation. She used to say that one. Then the complete uh, shift happened. But when I started meditation, all night meditation, she didn't like it actually. She was, uh, uh, she was uh, immediately, uh, what she was doing is after a few days, I came to know. Whenever my brother also sit, started sitting, uh, trying to sit in all night meditation, then after five ten minutes, till the head is straight, she's okay. The moment head is little bit relaxed or little bit, uh, sorry, <laughs> yes, little bit relaxed or uh, my head is falling down or any relaxation is happening, then she used to. Anyways, you're not doing proper meditation. Why don't you go and sleep at, in the in this time? She used to wake him up. And immediately he also in the sleepiness he all he used she used to take his take his hand and guide towards the bed. So then I understood oh maybe mom did same thing with me also. But I was at the time I was not awake. So that's what I understood. But uh, eventually when I uh, started knotting and the tying and everything, she understood the sincerity probably and she also didn't stop me like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's very thoughtful of uh, getting her into meditation. It shows that a will finds a way. Mm. So how did you balance your personal life? Because uh, meditating whole night and the next day you have your college or studies or your daily chores. How did you balance it? Yeah, actually, uh, first uh, uh, few days, even though first few years, first two years, even though I was doing 30 minutes or one hour of meditation, but I used to feel I was having a lot of stress and uh, a little bit improvements are there, but still, I was comparing to other people. Uh, I feel that uh, at the end of the day, I was getting tired from morning to evening working and college and everything. That's what I used to ask some other people also, but they used to tell uh, the answer which I was not getting connected. Okay, uh, they they are saying that infinite energy is there. Why do you think that in your age? Why do you think that you get stressed? You nothing is stressed. Nothing like that. Like that they are telling. But somehow I used to feel my body, my mind. I used to feel stress. But when I started this meditation, then onwards, uh, I was, stress is removed from my life. 
means automatically. This meditation initially to adjust you will get a little bit time, a couple of months or few months. But after that, this meditation gives more energies. Okay. Initially, initially, uh, first, uh, for example, initial days are uh, whenever I used to go to full moon night meditation. Uh, they were there. I was doing all night meditation. And uh, but in between, uh, in between, they are telling the class also one hour meditation, half an hour, one hour class, half an hour meditation, half an hour, one hour class. Right. At the time when I listened to the class, in the next day I was getting total drainage of energy, total getting tired. So I even I understood that in the full moon night, if I meditate all night without opening my eyes for the listening to the class, then only next day I was able to balance my body, uh, energies and sleepiness, dozings, everything. But even if I listen to the class for 10 minutes also, open eyes and talk to anyone, or even 5-10 minutes also, that my body is uh, not about such a level that uh, I was not feeling, I was feeling drowsiness and everything. Initially at the time, but eventually when I started Gudakesha meditation, then it's, it was giving me more empowerment, more energies, even though uh, mastery over the sleep, if, even though if the less sleep time is reduced, more energies are maintained, still maintained, quality is maintained. All those things I was able to uh, see that lot of difference while start, after starting Gudakesha meditation. Amazing. So you already saw the transformation. You noticed how it was before Guda Kesha and how your practices have uh, increased energies in you. Okay. Yes, so, a lot of yes. mm -hmm. Beautiful. What is the ideal age for someone to begin practicing Guda Kesha meditation? Is there any minimum uh, age? So, yeah, a minimum requirement is 18 years for uh, what were the same? Uh, our law requires a consent for all night meditation. Uh, so that's what uh, for the to do anything from uh, any important things. All the meditate, uh, all the other uh, schools of meditation also. Whenever they are teaching, they keep certain uh, these adults can learn this one. So here uh, I do kept the same rule. Whenever anybody wants to learn the meditation, I, uh, they need to be adult, eighteen years or twenty one years plus. But experience when the parents are doing it already, when the parents know this technology, okay, both of the parents, okay, then they can guide their children. Okay? At the time, there is no restriction. Even uh, small children, like five year child children, also started doing, and uh, 12 year children also started doing good Akesha. And they are also getting so, much, so many benefits, the children also. Definitely, an amazing next level of consciousness expansion happens, especially the younger the children, the better it is. So, even I would say that I could see the future that all the children from day one onwards, they, they'll be sitting and meditating in the future. Because when the parents are doing the meditation, this online meditation, when they see that there's a lot of benefits are there, when the Mahashiva is doing it, when the Hanuman is doing it, when, when we know that Sita is in the, from the uh, book, uh, Sita in a book, Untold Story of Sita, that book onwards, we came to know that Sita Devi is doing all night meditation in the Ashoka Vanam. So then when Sita Devi is able to do, why uh, why not everybody can do it? Why not utilize this technology? When Sri Krishna is an all night meditator, Gura Kesha. Okay, and uh, he taught this technique to only Arjuna at the time. So it's the time for everybody to learn. Any age is not a restriction, but the thing is the parents needs to do it first. Okay, that's a, that's a, I kept the uh, constant because they need to understand the, the body, how the body and mind and sleep uh, technology works. Okay, because children also need need proper sleep time. So uh, that's the reason. Uh, it's like they need little bit. Uh, I will not allow the children to do the Gudakesha without their parents doing it. Okay, because it, uh, certain technology needs to. Un uh, they need to understand how the uh, in their body and how it works. Thank you. Okay. That makes sense that if when they have a guiding parent, it becomes easy for a child or children to follow their footsteps. Um, as a new meditator, like they might be struggling main, to maintain the consistency. What advice would you give to someone starting their Buddha Kesha meditation journey, especially if they are in, I mean, if they are finding it difficult to stay committed and to continue it? Yeah, so for that one, in my life also, I always wanted to 
uh, do more meditation. But whenever uh, teaching is best way of learning. So, so in order to get the consistency, it should come from within. Okay, one thing is I got that uh, first level of enlightenment. That's called uh, glimpse of enlightenment. That's the reason I got all motivation. That's the reason uh, Buddha clearly mentioned. There are four levels of enlightenment. First level of enlightenment, Satori, that's a glimpse of enlightenment. Then I'm Sadagami, always progressing in their path. Okay, doing regular and consistently, they'll be doing meditation without losing, without stopping it because, because they got this experience that motivates them. Next thing is Anagami, level, uh, desires manifestation. Okay, Anagami means Anagami. Ana means they'll not come back to the earth again. Either this, this life only they will be getting Arihan, fullest enlightenment. Otherwise, if they die before they got the fullest enlightenment, they will be uh, taking one more life in the celestial planes, Devalokas, and they will be manifesting all their desires and then they will get the enlightenment. Fullest enlightenment is Arihan. Ari means internal enemies, mastering internal enemies. Kamakuru, the Lopo, Mohammed, Okay, Conquering our anger, our sadness, Dukkha, Rahi, Chastiti, our our own fears. This is enlightenment, fullest enlightenment. So here, uh, these are the levels, four levels. Okay. And uh, automatically this, having this clarity will uh, will have the clarity of towards our own path, where we are going. Okay. And uh, whenever we wanted to teach others, and I was also asking some people that, hey, you're doing, one time what happened is, I told one person meditation. Okay? He was having suffering from so many problems. He's, he completed MBA marketing. Okay? So after, although he completed MBA marketing, he cannot do the outside jobs because he's having some allergy towards the sun, sun rays. So if he go into the sun for even for 5, 10 minutes also, 2 minutes also, he is saying 2 minutes. Even if I go into the sun for 2 minutes, he's, he gets headache, severe headaches migraine, all the problems. Then he was having sleep problems. Then I taught him meditation, 20 minutes meditation. I have taught him how to do observe the breath. Then in the first sitting only, he felt that he saw inside his body. That's what he felt. He saw, I'm able to see my internal body organs, he felt. Then he got, uh, it's okay, very good that uh, you, you got certain experience. You um, That's what I said and uh, see the power of meditation. Next day, he called me next day. Okay, he proposed after I learned meditation from you. I went back to home and slept at eight o'clock in the evening, eight o'clock. Next day, afternoon, three o'clock, I woke up. Okay, that kind of a sleep, a proper good sleep, I got it after so many days. I was having sleepless nights, I was having sleep problems, insomnia. But everything is cleared on the day onwards. I and then I felt very good here. Well, wonderful that you got good experience. Wonderful. Then after one year, I met him. After one year after meeting him, I asked him, hey, how is your meditation going on? Then he said, yeah, good, very good. After that onwards, I got such a confidence that I got all sun, sun problems. If I go outside the sun, uh, used to get headache, head, all headaches are gone. Now I can go outside the, and I, uh, I outside the sun and I can work. Now I'm doing good job instead of sitting, instead of doing, earlier he was, in the, even though he's having MBA marketing uh, qualification, but his become qualification only he's using and he's sitting and doing the finance accountant related work only. Okay. Now I'm utilizing my MBA marketing uh, the qualification also. Now I'm going everywhere and easily. I'm enjoying the life fullest. Now headaches, everything gone, sleep problems, everything is gone. And the ulcer, any so many problems, stomach, everything is gone now. Now, uh, then I felt very good. And uh, then he I asked how you know how is your meditation going on, right? Then he said that yeah, I was doing every three, four months I do one meditation. If I do 20 minutes meditation, another three, four months, I will not, I, I will not have any health problems. So that's that's what I did in this last one year, three times or four times I meditated and uh, I'm good about it. I'm happy with that. Then I got surprised. What is this meditation? Three, four, like a three, four, once, once in a three, four months, right? I got surprised. Hey, meditation is not only for health. Okay. It has, it has many, much more greater things. Yes, it is going to give you. Why, why can't you continue much more regularly? That's what I felt. I asked him, right? Then onwards, then I checked. Like that, I, whenever I taught meditation to others, 
and whenever they are doing half an hour meditation i will i will, I will ask them to do why don't you do one hour meditation but they are not even they not even they in their body language they will not right hey, why don't you do you are doing half an hour meditation you are getting benefits why don't you do one hour meditation similarly they will say ah, it's okay <laughs> like the, this person also you already having this many benefits right but uh, health benefits but if you do much more meditation much more greater benefits are going to happen and he's so it's okay I'll take it easy kind of then i was checking self reflection how am i doing everybody stopped meditation at the some some or other point of the time right did they also stop some or the other point of the time am i also having the the clarity to do more meditation or more sincerely then it's like uh, then i was checking myself every time whenever i te- uh, taught meditation to others and people are not listening that is my motivation to do consistently and much more sincerely that's what i happening to me yeah. that's a beautiful uh, experience sharing of one of the meditators and it also shows how you always self checked where uh, if you're lacking behind or if you're always on the track thank you so in this uh, um guda kesha meditation it is sitting all night like why is it mandatory to meditate in a sitting posture and not lying down at all yeah so sitting posture a spiny state as a human beings we got only one species we got spiny state we need to utilize that technology so in mahashivratri she was recommendation is to everybody sit and meditate all night jagrana maha jagrana and uh, much more sincere people much more devotees they will be sitting every month master shivaratri sitting all night and much more sincere people they will be sitting all 365 days it is having greater benefits and i mean i went to one nirahara yogini the breath breathian mata ji near mehdi patnam uh, when i went there and i, I told her I, i do all night meditation and she was immediately she told yes all the shaktis will be awakened all the powers shaktis lani jagrutam avtai very good she told and uh, mahavtar baba ji's disciple lahe mahashaya uh, that guru also he was also doing all night meditation he did it within one week he conquered the sleep he mentioned he was sitting all night properly without the effect of without getting effect that uh, uh, drowsiness and everything he mastered the sleep <laughs> sitting on all night meditation properly he started doing so amazing benefits amazing activation of our powers our clarity focus deep sleep also body is completely sleeping so i am not saying that uh, we should not sleep okay conquering sleep means it's not like a Uh, not sleeping the body okay body is sleeping mind also not having thoughts mind also shanti okay sharira vishanti manashanti then onwards happens is meditation and you are awakened towards away towards your own consciousness your own original nature that is blissfulness that is meditation okay there is a one more quotation from kanchi paramacharya nidra lona parama sukham unnadi in the deep sleep there is a ultimate bliss is there Okay, in Ramana Maharshi's quotation also there, amazing quotation. I wanted to hear, uh, give you that Ramana Maharshi quotation inspired me a lot. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, then I got the bliss experience once. The, I wanted to get the bliss experience one more time. Right? He his quotation is, everybody every night taking going to deep sleep. Everybody, but at the time they are not aware. If anybody is aware of his deep sleep, any t- one time also, if they are aware of the deep sleep when they are in deep sleep they are having awareness then on was the beggar's life will be instead of living the beggar's life they will be living like the emperor's life the complete transformation happens that's what ramana maharshi told in the deep sleep we need to have the fullest awareness so that's where we will get the ultimate bliss the moment on was we get the ultimate bliss life will be completely changed so with that quotation i got inspiration let me find the bliss in my deep in my deep meditations all night deep sleep we need to be aware so body should be having deep sleep then we need to be aware so that's what uh, my technology my research into and uh, that's all thank you amazing you have found various techniques in guda kesha even i have done the guda kesha 40 days um meditation there are very beautiful tips and techniques that you have uh, um, formulated the course with 
what is the importance of doing one minute or two minute meditations? Because for me, for a person like me, uh, I feel like when I sit for meditation, I don't want to open my eyes. I don't want to get up. I don't, I feel like if I'm getting up, it's like a disturbance or if I'm opening my eyes, it's like a disconnect. So how can I cultivate this one minute or two minute meditations and what is the importance of it? Very good. So one time, uh, after five years of my meditation, one day in my lunchtime, office lunchtime, I have, I blinked in my eyes blinking. In that eye blinking time, I felt like I meditated for 24 hours. I got such a relaxation. Then unless I got surprised, wow, my meditations are becoming more and more powerful. And within eye blink time, I got relaxed. Such a, it's equivalent to 24 hours of sleeping time, sleeping and meditation time. Perfect relaxation happened within the eye blink time. Then I realized, oh, if I can do it, I can also teach this technology to others. Of course, because I'm a little bit senior meditator, probably within I blink time you meditate, means people might not understand it. So let me ask them to do one minute meditation and two minutes meditation. Then within one minute meditation, they are able to connect to themselves, the bliss within, the peace within. Okay. Then then onwards, it's like a techno. This is a technology. It's like we are, throughout the day we are keeping doors. One minute, one minute meditation doors. After a few days, the doors will become, will become aligned. Continuous meditative state will experience it. So now onwards, we'll do one thing. In this uh, video also, we'll be doing 10-10 uh, seconds meditation. So that, uh, that in the 10 seconds, we get amazingly connectivity with ourselves. And observing the breath with the breath connection. Then automatically, the rest of all the class, uh, all the, this video will be amazingly powerful. Okay, So let's do this one. This is experiment. Okay, we experiment and do the research, experience, then express. This is the Patrisa's formula, experiment, experience, and express. So that's what I did. I experimented with myself and I taught this to many people. Many people got so much benefits. I'm, I'm not asking you to shorten your meditations. You keep your bigger meditations like that only. Okay, But whenever there is a possibility is there, in the morning times, whenever you're doing any other things, do small, small meditations as well. Okay. Uh, this is the addition, not like I'm not uh, asking anyone to do bigger meditation to cut down. Okay, Until your meditation is having thoughtless state, you continue the meditation. Otherwise, if you're having thoughts, then cutting the down into small pieces, divide and conquer. One technique, you can use this one also. So let's do this 10 seconds meditation. <laughs> Close eyes, three, two, Observe the Shanti and Ananda within. Observe the breath. One. Zero. Uh -huh. Thank you. So in between also we'll be doing meditations, 10 and second meditation, and we'll continue the, with the questions. Thank you. Sure. <clears throat> sure. How did you feel in these 10 seconds? Are you able to connect with yourself? In these 10 seconds, does it, do you think it, it gave you certain impact? Yes, it definitely calm me down but i feel like yeah. i want to continue it i don't want to come out of it yeah i agree that's amazing that's the power of meditation is uh, if you wanted to if you have the interest towards the meditation that gives us amazing progress is the difference between enlightened person and a non-enlightened person is they have the interest towards meditation whenever there is a chance is that they wanted to do meditation that's the day. That's the only. Whenever there is a chance, is that you wanted to do we explore YouTube, we wanted to do other things. Means that's a, that makes it a human. But whenever there is a small chance, one ten, 10 seconds, twenty seconds, or so you wanted to meditate and utilize this time, that's it. Eventually, it will make people enlightened. Okay. That's you know we wanted to have that curiosity, we wanted to have that desire, and still we have work. So let me do the work in a meditative state. We get that kind of idea. Okay. That's how. Uh, enlightenment and greater enlightenment is enlightenment is in your meditations if you are having thoughtless stage and greater enlightenment living the enlightenment is while working also maintaining that blissfulness the happiness and that the peace within the joy within I mean if you maintain that's like that's that's how the interest towards the meditation 
will convert all your work also as a meditation work as meditation thank you very beautifully explained and your one blink of eye gave you the experience of 24 hours of meditation was a beautiful sharing so that shows your awareness towards yourself so my next question is about awareness how can someone cultivate constant awareness during meditation and throughout their you know whole day like their daily life yes good question so awareness towards what we need awareness towards breath is good okay awareness towards our body movements conscious body movement you you do not lose energy unconsciously move the body we lose the energy so we need to be we are sitting in meditation still so whenever we move if you if you are consciously move your body then we do not we can continue the meditation state otherwise we lose the meditation state after meditation if you just do like this immediately we'll know that person is in meditation state or not otherwise if you slowly you know, itching is there slowly if you do like this and then you're in a conscious state you're not losing the energy like that so we awareness towards what is important means awareness towards your inner bliss is important that is atma gnanam awareness towards the god is important everywhere god is there so ramana krishna Paramahamsa, that's what he told he told that how do you maintain that uh, ultimate brahma and the stiti people asked him and uh, also same case with the uh, janaka maharaja okay so shukra brahma went and asked him what is the secret how can you maintain this enlightenment throughout the day okay people when you are in blissfulness and you are in meditation you can maintain it it's okay it's easy but throughout the day in spite of having all the things how can you maintain so both of them told awareness towards the god how it should be there means continuous awareness two examples they told ramakrishna also told that they see our worker worker woman the maid she got a small month's baby she keeps the baby in the center of the house and she'll be doing all the work cho chores and cleaning the weathers and washing the clothes and everything but every day whatever she is doing she's having one eye on the child on her child and then you need to always connect with the god within or everywhere or the bliss within or everywhere or if you can feel the god everywhere or energy everywhere that's good otherwise you just be aware of your breath okay so that's one one example told by sri ramakrishna Pramusa. and janaka maharaja told one uh, he created one situation that at the time uh, one thief came to the his kingdom one thief came and uh, and at the time he gave, he gave the thief that punishment to his he will be beheaded okay then uh, his wife his wife will be uh, praying uh, to the uh, janaka maharaja that please forgive him this is his first mistake i'll make sure that next time on us he will not do anything please this, uh, forgive him then uh, janaka maharaja tells that one one punishment uh, one test i'll be giving in this in this test if he passes then i'll forgive him i'll give him one more chance otherwise he'll be beheaded then the test is take a bowl of oil okay and walk in the vegetable market three kilometers the complete walking is three kilometers so take the bowl of oil and from the bowl of oil, bowl should be full, full of oil. Even if one drop comes fall down, immediately he asked his sainika that uh, that uh, we had him then and there only. Whenever the one drop of oil drops, immediately kill him there, then and there only. Then uh, he's taking the bowl and he's walking. All the three kilometers he walked, then Janaka Maharaja asked that. He passed. Then Janaka Maharaja asked that, uh, hey, how's the market? Did you enjoy? Okay. Then he says... <laughs> He says that, how can I enjoy everything? All my focus is here only. On that uh, a drop will fall down on. I am completely focused, right? So he says that, uh, but you you saw the route. You saw the people who are all coming there, uh, who is giving, he, he needs to go this side, that side. People, many people are there in the market, right? He's seeing the route and he's seeing, he should be seeing all the, around, uh, all the surroundings and everything. But he's having such a concentration on this one that otherwise his head will be beheaded, right? So that's the reason in that way one needs to be having awareness towards the god in the same way every second you need to have the awareness towards the god your emotions that 
Oil spilling down is called emotion. We are feeling bad about it. We are feeling angry. Whenever you feel angry, your, your oil will be falling down, leaking, right? So if you if you hold the oil, if you're having anger, it will, it will fall down. If you're having sadness, again, it will fluctuate everything. If you're having fear. So our emotions, we need to maintain such a way that connecting to the God. So connecting to that frequency of awareness inside us. There is a inside deep within, within us, there is a bliss inside. We need to have that awareness towards our own bliss. Okay, that is very important. Have that clarity. Then, uh, then automatically we our life will be will be living the life of enlightened persons. For that one, this technique helps. Every five, ten minutes, just do 10 seconds of meditation. Let's do now also. 10 seconds, three, <laughs> two, one. Zero. Thank you. Next, next question. Okay, so this one minute or 10 seconds of meditation also helps in being aware all the time. Definitely. Yeah, because in the 10 seconds, we are connecting to the self within. The 10 seconds will keep give us the connection. Then automatically, we will know how to maintain the connection. Yes. Okay, beautiful. So, yes. Now, you are known as the god of the dreams. Please tell more about it. Like, how did you get this title? And uh, how, yeah, please uh, share more about this title. Yeah. yeah. So, basically, uh, uh, if I go, I need to go a little bit deep into that. It will only take many days of workshops. So, uh, but generally, I wanted to take tell it in one or two minutes. Initially, when I met one grandmaster, Soumya, Soumya then I asked her, uh, do I need to anal analyze my dreams? Do I need to remember my dreams and work on my dreams? She told that, it's okay. Take it easy. If you feel like analyzing, you do it. Otherwise, there is nothing compulsory to analyze or remember anything. Then whatever is easy for you, whatever is you feel comfortable, you do it. That's what she told. Then at the time I was having not having burden that, oh, okay, take it easy, right? So that, that, that answer, I liked it. But somehow automatically I was doing some research or in between I was doing research and, and uh, analyzing dreams also. And uh, I felt uh, one day I was reading one place that uh, every dream is like a, it's like a language. It has its own telling many things to us. It's like a God, they're in a God's language. Okay. It's like uh, whenever you do not analyze the dream, it's like not you're you're not opening a letter from a god. You're not opening it. You're not reading it. That's what it's mentioned. Then uh, then I was probably analyzing is needed. That's what I thought. But uh, when I do started doing Guru Kesha all night meditations, then oh, many many dreams and many things are happening started happening, and more and more energies are coming. Dream is certain conscious certain level of energy. When you have more energies, then those are called astral travel and visions and much more clarity. Okay. Uh, dreams are having all, yeah, we need to find out the meanings. They're all indirect, but whenever the acetal comes, they're, di they're directly on. Directly, we need not to analyze it. We just know it automatically. There's much more clarity. So this is this is the acetal. And when I was doing a lot of research, automatically, because all night we are sitting, right? we are having more awareness towards whatever is happening here or any other planet, any other uh, parallel universe or any other uh, vision or astral travel or, or causal travel. Many, many levels of travel uh, traveling is there. Dhyana means D plus Dhyana. D means, in Sanskrit, D means Sukshma Sharira the Samudaya. Astral body, causal body, soul body, and Sarvatma, Purnatma, all the, and Dhyana means traveling. So many different experiences. That is Dhyana. So I was also getting so many experiences. And after a certain time, Seth Master, came to me in my vision as to travel and he gave me this title god of the teams so for that one uh, certain uh, research ha needs to happen there are 10 levels to reach the god of the teams i mentioned it in the buddha kesha book uh, it's available the book is available in six different languages english hindi telugu Kannada, and marathi yeah uh, many languages is available so in that book i mentioned what are the levels of god of the teams 10 levels are there so to how to achieve the God of the dreams, once you have the 10 level clarity, the 10 points, then one can achieve the God of the dreams title. Anyone can be God of the dreams. Everyone has that potential. Thank you. 
Amazing. So we should definitely read uh, Gurakesha book to get to know about these 10 levels of uh, dreams. Okay. Now, um, we, you say there are lucid dreams and there are astral travels. So what is a lucid dreaming? Like, can you share during your Gurakesha practice, when did the lucid dreaming start for you? Yeah. So, uh, lucid dreaming is, yeah, we are, we are coming to the dream levels. First, first level is knowing that we are, we are dreaming. Okay. Second thing is remembering, remembering our dreams. Third level is knowing that you are in a dream while you are in dream. That's the third level. Okay. Fourth level is you know that you are in dream. Now you can start controlling that. You can change the dream content. That is called lucid dream. The fourth level is lucid dreaming. So here, uh, because automatically I was reading the Tibetan dream yoga. That's one technology that using that technology, one can get enlightened. The Tibetan dream yoga. So that technology, I, I, I am uh, coaching the people in this 49 day meditation. That's what uh, uh, Tibetans also do this one, dream yoga coaching. Uh, for 49 days, they give certain training for the dream yoga. After 49 days, without opening eyes, they'll be sitting and they'll be having three by three box where they in the three feet by three feet on they need to sit all three, all 49 days of course for food break and toilet breaks they can go and come back and sit there sit or stand in the three feet by three feet only or walking anything they need to do but they, that, in that space on their own their own space that space only they need to sit and stand and uh, without opening eyes and they'll be giving you a lot of guidance for that one okay first level of guidance is uh, there are hundreds of exercises will be there. Okay, yoga means huge. Coming from the word uh, Sanskrit word huge, which means union, oneness. The true oneness. We are all gods. Experiencing that oneness is a true god relation. For that one, then the god relation is the highest enlightenment. Okay, for the for that one only this uh, dependent dream yoga is there. Automatically, it happened to me in the in my Gura Kesha. Uh, practices, online practice. I, I experienced that one. After experiencing that one, I read that, okay, this is also there. Okay? So there are many exercises are there. In your, for, first, once you started getting the dreams and the lucid dreaming, and uh, you start changing the dream content, and work, uh, do some exercises there, some uh, technologies we need to implement so that we understand the God, God there. Okay? That's the that's way the, in my life also it happened. Naturally, it happened because it, all the great things, if I do meditation, if anybody does meditation, that's the reason Ramana Maharshi tells that if you're not reading the books also, that's okay. Do meditation, so meditate more. Because through the meditation, you'll be learning all the important signs of all the universe. That's what it happened to me. Okay. Thank you. Beautiful. So it is more important to meditate is what you're saying. How can no. someone begin to practice and develop the ability for astral travel? Yes. So basically it happened, uh, astral travel came to me in my second year of my meditation. So a simple formula is when you have more energy, astral travel happens. Okay. That's the only formula. That's a truth. Usually, as a human beings, everybody is getting in the night time, they'll be recharging. In the morning to evening, they'll be spending the energy, recharge energy, recharge energy spending. Here and here and here and here only they are working. But this is the threshold for the acid travel. It's a little bit high energy. One needs to keep on energizing, energizing, energizing. Then, if you come to this level, then astral travel come, comes naturally. So, for that one, two things only regular meditation, the thoughtless stage meditation, more powerful. So, if anybody does thoughtless stage meditation, Thoughtless state and awareness. Okay, for so half an hour also, if you do, then then within 30 days, few days only, they'll be started getting the acid travel experiences. Okay, so uh, that's one thing. And also they need to keep themselves very happy. When all you're, you're unhappy, you're losing the energies again. So sadness and fear and, and frustration, irritation, anger, anything you're losing the energy. So you need to keep your ha yourself happy, happy, happy. Whenever anything happens, you need to dance with joy and happiness. So that you need to cultivate that habit 
you of course you know if you wanted to get acetal you need to definitely there is no choice you need to choiceless choice you need to take only happiness choice all the whatever the situations whatever the people are saying and whatever situations happen then also you need to keep yourself happy then happy and regular meditation proper meditation okay in the meditation we will be getting sleepiness that's okay the sleepiness whenever you are getting that means that the uh, the meditation three levels are the yoga nidra level first level is sleepiness initially that's okay that's part of the meditation second level is awareness after a little bit sleepiness is there you will be awake after some time half an hour one hour time one hour time or one hour time you wanted to sit straight without back support that's called awareness state second level in the time in the state you need to be constantly observing the breath patting the thoughts and observing the breath then if you are sincerely doing it then the third level will come happiness love blissfulness ananda the three levels are their meditation so at least in in awareness also if you meditate for 30 minutes then asana travel comes very very quickly that's the only technique that's some important techniques of course many techniques are there uh, you know the detailed techniques will be uh, I, i started the asana travel workshops also uh, they are available uh, sometimes i Uh, some in english also as a travel practical guided session small sessions are there in youtube also you can find in telugu also uh, telugu 15 videos i uh, created a uh, detailed explanation of many techniques uh, and these are the things yeah thank you okay so as per your saying it needs lot of energies to do astral travel so that's the reason just meditating one or two hours is probably not sufficient we need continuous hours of meditation like gura kesha to sustain those energies without spending them all yes yeah. some people report they say i am doing astral travel all night uh, they say they're losing energy and the next day they don't feel very energetic so how can one build energy while engaging in the astral travel is it something like they lose energy yeah so i never got I came across the situation but i i too had some of the experiences so yeah unconscious astral travel in the astral travel what happened that also matters so in the astral travel so when you need to when you be uh, when you are aware and meditate in your astral travel you will be plentiful of energies i never came across any any such situation that any time whenever astral travel happened i never lost one single one percentage of energy also okay even though one time what happened is one um one person she is a uh, one madam she was working for the film spiritual society uh, ma or ml uh, mla or uh, mp mp contestant he was she was working a lot at the time in my astral travel i went there and gave her a lot of energy sharing a lot of energy happened at the time also i didn't lose anything any energy in every single situation i was getting astral travel means abundance of energy only okay of course there are there are certain things are there uh, those are called uh, pedal color or what are they called in english terrifying dreams right so at the time you are you are losing energy that's okay that's I, that i agree but that too whenever you are having awareness it will not happen whenever you smile at it okay so also it's also part of my training if you have that clarity Okay, then this, everything is a training. Nothing is a punishment. There is no punishment. Karma is not a punishment. It's a training, right? So some uh, trainings, some fears are there. If anybody has any fear, you need to face the fear. Then only fears will be disappearing. So that's the reason. Uh, some of the experiences, uh, terrifying experience, also comes in the astral travel meeting. All the negative entities also negative entities also happens. But that's also part of the training. You need to see the God inside them. When you see the God inside them. then only that other things will be completely clear I and mean, when you would be uh, you'll be you need to see whenever you connect the god frequency your frequency raises then automatically whoever you are meeting in, the, in your astral travel so their frequency also will be higher so that's the important formula in this astral travel nobody loses energy okay of course initially if you anybody is losing the energy that's okay okay but you need to be doing when you do online meditation you will be having plentiful time for yourself and for your astral travel then you will be learning all the technologies how to not lose the energy okay here also if anybody is talking unnecessary talking is there you feel that oh i am losing the energy this person are not leaving me you can you can take the choice you can say thank you very much let me bye bye i have some other work you can go 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 to other place right in the same way in the astral travel also any negative situations are there you can say that, hey thank you 
you know, this is happening, but let me take your next choice. Let me go from this place to other place. Otherwise, let me meditate. If you have, if you meditate there, the God of the dreams, law of step is meditating in the dreams. And you will be feeling the oneness. Then you will become the God of the dreams. Meditating in the dreams and astral travels. That's the highest. So meditating in the astral travel and raising the frequency to God frequency are a few tips how they can have always the energy levels high. So um, Gurakesha involves meditating all nights. How can married couples balance this practice while also, you know, nurturing their relationship and enjoying their married life? Yeah, good question. Some people think that uh, Gurakesha means stopping all the marriage relations uh, and everything and doing all the family things and everything, ch children and doing good It's not like that. Udakesha is a technology. Whenever you, whatever, in your marriage also, marriage relationship also, you are spending the time with the children, you are spending the quality time with your spouse. And after everything, you know, you have some time for sleeping, and that sleep time you convert into meditation time. That's what we are telling. Spend the time with your family, spouse, children, everything. You do all the things. Whatever, routinely, whatever you are doing, do everything. Then you will start do, doing the good action. Whenever, you, whenever your sleep time is there, that yeah. sleep and lying down, unconscious lying down time is there. That one only convert into conscious sitting time. That's all, that's the only difference. Rest of all that, which is morning to evening, nighttime activities, in, in between also, in between the nighttime good action time also, in between also you can take break. Any anything you can take. It's like how you are doing everyday activities. For example, uh, some um, some. Uh, mothers, newly mother, new mothers are there. They need to feed their children every one hour, all night, all night, right? Every one or two hours, they'll be chill. Then they'll be, they'll be doing it, everything, while uh, feeding the children. So you can take break. Again, it's, it's whenever it's time for you to unconscious lying down sleep. That one we are uh, sitting and converting all deep sleep. Okay? Much more deeply we are relaxing in sitting portion. So that's what with the Buddha Kesha, uh, what we observed is, Quality sleep is increasing. Okay, scientifically, uh, whenever we have the digital watches, we can we observe that amazingly. The deep sleep is doubling. Okay, so you'll be having in less time also. You'll be having more energies, more relaxation. Will be art of relaxation we teach here. Okay, so amazingly, the Kundalini Shakti also activates for many people, uh, and they know don't know how to balance it. They have side effects and everything. But here we teach the art of relaxation. Relaxation, then if the Kundalini Shakti activates also, they'll be they know how to balance everything. Complete because complete body mind stability. Okay, when, when the one who mastered the mind can master the whole universe. That's what the Buddha said. So that's how that's the Buddha Kesha gives the body relaxation, mind relaxation, complete thoughtless state master. Okay. So everyone uh, can spend their family time, then Whatever the time is left for their sleep time, then only that time only they can do the Gurakesha. All the other, all the time, the Gurakesha course is so much having flexibility. If uh, in the evening times, we'll be having some class or some uh, YouTube video will be there, and the Zoom class will be there. If you're not attending that also, that's okay. You can cover it in the next day also during that time, particular time. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So whatever time we sleep unconsciously has to be meditated, has to be utilized for meditation is what is Guru Kesha teaching. We don't have to stop anything. Um, is it necessary to connect with our past lives? Yeah. So, yeah, in the meditation, Whenever anything important is there, we'll be getting it. Okay. And uh, whenever it, uh, we need not to especially look for the past. If whenever anything is needed, we'll get it. So, of course, when uh, anyone, some people are having so much curiosity towards it, if you're having curiosity, you can de definitely contact the past life regression therapist. But otherwise, the second like in our meditations, whatever, anytime we, we go, we get many, many levels. Okay. Certain level of meditation. They're called Rushi means they started seeing the visions. 
Okay, larger shimis they start to see the, all the past tense. Mahar shimis they start to see the future and others, other lives, other lives also. Other people also they'll be knowing many things what's happening in, in your life and all, your family members' lives and all the other things, everything. But at, at the time also Maharshi level also we we should not tell anyone that whatever you're seeing. You can just uh, don't if you started telling they'll be depending on you. They'll be coming to you, right? Everybody needs to meditate it and they they need to know of themselves. And the next thing is Brahma Shiva seeing the uh, secrets of the universe. So all these levels are natural for everyone, all the meditators. So if they come, that they will be coming. The past lives will be coming and knowing it. Otherwise, also, but uh, thing is, we need not to have keep any attachments towards the past life relations. Okay. So automatically, that uh, when we are seeing many past lives, we will be seeing and we will be knowing automatically. This technology will be we will be learning many things automatically from within. Okay, that is. That means we should just focus on our sadhana and whatever is needed for us will be shown to us. All right. So in the US, many participants for, uh, during this Gura Kesha workshop, we see they drop out. How do you guide them to remain committed and to continue forward um, in this practice? And um, what is... Um, your motivation, like what is your suggestion to them? How to sustain the practice and when it is very challenging for them? Yeah, basically, uh, any challenge is there. Just take it easy. Like I say, take it easy, be comfortably, happily, you do it. Okay, I'm not asking you anybody to do more stressfully. It's like meditation is for stress relief, not for stress, uh, more stress, it's just stress relief and relaxation. Okay. So I got one motivation for me. Whenever I see this quotation helped me a lot. The quotation said that before meditation, zillions of lifetimes are over, then it's okay. Okay, because you don't know the meditation, power of meditation. But after knowing the meditation, you utilize every single second. For your progress. Because you came to know about the meditation. That quotation touched me heart in my heart. That quotation I, I carry in my heart every time. Because, of course, uh, because I got this motivation from within me, that enlightenment experience, I got it one more time I wanted to have. So this quotation, till the, this quotation I was carrying forward every time. I was reflecting, let me utilize every single second. Let me utilize every single second. So I was like that. So if anybody can connect to this quotation, they can definitely connect. And second quotation uh, touched me again in my heart. For the benefit of all sentient beings, let me get enlightened quickly, quickly, quickly. No, no, no. Okay. So this quotation also touched me in my heart. So for the benefit of all the sentient beings, not for me, for the benefit of not only for me, if I get enlightened, for all the beings also will be benefited, right? Everyone from our side, a lot of positive way. Uh, waves will be generated, blissful waves, that way. That waves will be helpful for every all the universe, everyone. So let me get enlightened. Now, quickly, quickly, quickly. No, no, no. This quotation also helped me a lot for the connection, for to maintain the, the consistency. So, mm -hmm. and the third one is the wish for mother. So all the mothers, I, I, was, I was too much attached towards my own mother. Okay? Too much means not extra. Perfectly attached. I have good attachment towards my mother amazing connection I, I was having so much motherly love and blessed with that one i really thank my mother wherever she is now and uh, for showering so much love and compassion towards me okay and uh, now with that love i understood that i have respect towards my mother and i want my mother to be happy always not only my physical mother also the vishwa mother universal mother also so all the mothers are happy when their children are happy, right? So let me be happy, always happy. Because I wanted to make my mother happy, the whole universe, universal mother happy. How can I make my mother happy? It's like by me maintaining my happiness levels, always. So ultimately happiness, ultimate happiness, can I maintain? For that one, meditation is a, the important thing, important tool. Meditation helps us to maintain our blissful levels, Atma so these are the motivations. Certain motivations spur me. Hope these motivations help others. 
I see that uh, in India, comparing to India, in USA, other countries, in India, usually many comforts are there, maids and work romance and many things are there. Uh, then automatically, the India dropout rate is 90% people continue the good occasion first 40 days, they continue easily. In USA, I see 75% only they are continuing. The 15% variation is there because of course, because it's okay, I can understand their family and uh, the time in the USA, everything uh, is there, but I'm seeing the positive aspect. 75 people percentage is successfully doing the good occasion. Of course, of course, situation, according to the body, mind, and situation, the family and situations, everything uh, are affecting us, but still, are we having the clarity towards our, our enlightenment? Are we having the real import, giving importance towards our enlightenment in respect to all the things in your life? That is very important. So once you have the clarity towards your own, your own enlightenment, then only this good akesha is fun. Okay, And every night is an opportunity. I'm not, uh, take it easily, but consistently you need to do it. If you, I, I was also missing, first few years, I was also missing many times, not able to do my body and situations, everything, but I was consistent every night. That's the only thing, consistent. Whenever, even if I, I was also having shy, I was a shy person. Okay, whenever I go outside, what people, other people may think, and I used to lie down whenever I go outside home. In my home only, whenever I'm home, I'm doing it my home only. If I go to any other place, I used to lie down. And, may, and again, whenever I come back to home, again, I used to start, continue. Now, of course, in the last four years, I what, what I am, I, everybody knows and everybody respects. Wherever I go, I can sit on, online. But earlier I was talking about initial days. I was a little bit shy and... So, so basically, one needs to have sincerity. One needs to have the... Know that simple formula that every night is an opportunity. Let me utilize this opportunity to take my level to the next level. That's all. And every day, 1% improvement. Cumulatively, after a few days, few months, you see, wow, miraculous results. Every day, you are slowly, little bit, little bit only improvement, but over a period of time, over a period of 10 years or 12 years of time, you will see, wow, this is what it, uh, makes a difference from the enlightened person on the normal day-to-day -day losing the energy and losing the sleep, lying down. And normal, little bit difference is there. If you lie down also, you are receiving the energy. Okay? Sleeping also, you are receiving the energy. But if you sit and relax your body, you are receiving 30, at least 30 to 40 percent energy. Sometimes double the energy also you are receiving because it is shown in your deep, in your as a deep sleep time in your watch. Every day you are having plentiful, plentiful of energies, abundance of energies. So that's a, once you have this clarity, and once you have clarity over in your mind and intellect, then giving us time and slow and steady only. It's not like nothing compulsory that nobody will force. One time one complaint also came that from Pyramid Spiritual Society, some of the senior masters, uh, they told that, hey, Prabhupada, you I uh, got one complaint for you that you're forcing, are you forcing the Guda Kesha to everyone, all night meditation? I said, I was I was simply getting laughter. How can we force anyone to do online meditation? We are telling in Zoom, Zoom class, online class. We are not having any physical class also most of the times. In the Zoom online class, we ask everybody to sit all night. And if you get sleep, people are lying down and sleeping. We cannot, they, we, they'll be switching off the Zoom and switching off the phone and they'll be sleeping. We'll not, we cannot force anyone. Okay, no, there is, of course, there is, a, if anybody is forcing anybody for the non vegetarianism, stop non veg and eat vegetarians and do meditation at least 20 minutes, or whatever your age is there, that many minutes. PSS people are forcing others. How much, if you think that PSS people are forcing others to do become vegetarians, of course, maybe the one person feel also force them to do meditation all that. Force me, I don't want to use the word, but in order, for them, ask me in that word, using that vocabulary, I need to answer in their vocabulary only. That's the reason I said. If you, if you, uh, you guys, okay, as part of the PSS, if you're forcing, how much you force others to for converting as a vegetarianism, okay, and come, uh, come to daily regular meditation, how much force you're doing? In that one, one person will, will be forcing people, but good I can do all that good I can because we also got so, so, so many benefits. So we are also advising them, that's all. There's no force, just advising.
it's up to everyone now having the clarity once you have the clarity up to you that's all thank you amazing um so yes nobody can force anybody on their spiritual journey it has to come from within it has to self discipline is needed if they want to progress on their spiritual path here i am tempted to ask you a question um when you say uh like we know patri ji has started the pssm and ekatwa is the organization that started gurakesha is gurakesha i mean is ekatwa part of pssm yeah so patri ji named uh, online meditation i was teaching in 2011 uh varangal mini dhyanayagna at the time i was teaching online meditation to everyone then everyone uh went and shared their experience to patri ji and patri ji also came to night time class meditation class and he named this meditation as guda kesha from then onwards we start, we took that patri ji uh, naming uh, naming this meditation as guda kesha from that onwards we started the guda kesha name and then uh, then after uh, coming to uh, corona onwards we started teaching more online guda kesha meditation so many thousands of people uh, so far i don't close to 10000 people learned this meditation guda kesha meditation through online so initially at uh, 2011 to 2020 is the time i taught meditation to few hundreds of people less than 1000 people so now uh, after corona because of the online zoom and everything it's got wide wide spread spread across spreading happening through the mouth publicity and uh, through the youtube and uh, now people are learning that it has importance and the people are seeing the experiences of the people other people because if anybody talks to you know two three good akesha people then they'll have the clarity oh wow this is something working okay immediately people whenever anybody doing good akesha for 40 day completed anybody if you just ask anybody completed have you completed 40 day then if you ask them then they will be having certain they'll be telling certain good good things about it but if anybody completed 40 days for three times then if you ask them that then you will have clarity that wow is many benefits are there at least stage comes bliss comes then definitely everybody will be doing it okay because that's that's the power of good action okay and ekatwa is a organization uh, through that organization many courses we are conducting train your mind how to after eight and a half years of my sadhana my meditation journey i started doing meditation without any thoughts that mastery came over the thoughts then i okay i got this mastery if i start teaching to others they will also get its mastery then i created this course called uh, train your mind okay and as it have and guda kesha and speed reading okay how to read the books very uh, very quickly double your speed 10 times speed okay many things uh, possibilities there and many other workshops are there abundance and spirit, uh, abundance workshops abundance and prosperity workshop and so many workshops mastering the fears mastering the anger and so many workshops we are connecting on the the ekatwa organization name so how this pss and our uh, ekatwa are there now what is the relationship between these two organizations are there means uh, we are working on that one so in eventually few days uh, the clarity will come the, uh, that uh, of course we are learning our, our mother organization is pyramid spiritual society and ekatwa one organization we created and the, some of, some of the rules and uh, uh formulas we will we'll be discussing with the uh, global pssm uh with pari pari and also pati pati madam will be discussing and we'll be formulating and they are they are coming up with some form of uh, some rules once they came from the came certain they are regulating the rules of the pssm all the associated uh, organizations so once uh, the rules came and then we'll also be aligning with them and uh, then we we both together will will be working in the future currently some looks like some things are uh, not uh, uh, in alignment currently but uh, in the future i look forward for the complete alignment with the uh, spiritual society as well because uh, because i am i am part of the uh, pssm i like you know all these years i have so much gratitude towards it but uh, sometimes it looks like some people are talking and everything some 
uh, some things, many, many comments and judgments are there towards uh, Ekatva and uh, Gudakesha, especially Gudakesha. Uh, many misconceptions are definitely there outside. So we'll be working to resolve all those things. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that in detail. Uh, could you please share about your programs that are going on and your programs in your near future for the viewers to um, take a note and to attend those programs? Yeah. So uh, sometimes I was conducting online workshops. They'll be updated in ekatva.org, otherwise in the YouTube, ekatva Telugu, ekatva Hindi, ekatva English, ekatva Kannada. These four channels are there in YouTube. And uh, most of the times, uh, important programs are we uh, we are uh, doing this. Some programs are free programs, completely free. Okay, using the blindfold. Uh, this is called inner light meditation. Otherwise, as it's called as Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya program. Here, uh, we allocate uh, every, this last Navratri happened, uh, and the next year also many many at least uh, next year also four ten day or programs will be conducting. Uh, in the physical presence in Hyderabad near in, in US in US also we conducted one day total uh, without opening us stay there for one day as much as possible all the food and uh, food will be served to you so like that uh, here also uh, completely blindfold yourself and people volunteers will be giving you food and taking you to the the toilet and come uh, not coming back and you made it for all seven days without opening us or ten days without opening us. Then what happens is whenever you do not open eyes, then amazing meditation continuation happens. So amazing clarity happens, amazing progress happens. So next level. So multiplication effect is happening there. So this is this program we are conducting. Also this program we are conducting in uh, this uh, uh, November and December, 49 day program we are conducting in the advanced level. This is a dream yoga training also will be given there. Uh, in the 49 days, at least one week also one can attend. Minimum one week can, anyone can attend. Uh, and uh, those who can attend the, the 49 days, that's even better. The complete third day activation and astral travel clarity in order to happen. A lot of energies are needed. Every day, a little bit of energy, a little bit coming down, a little bit of energy gaining and coming down. So that you spend some good time, especially one week or uh, one, 10 days time, then amazingly next level of energies happens. So with, especially if you can do it with blindfold, then there's any support is there, and yeah, that's much more better. Okay, so and also uh, one more thing is every master Shivaratri, okay, we are uh, all the Gurakesha masters, all the Gurakesha senior masters who completed at least one 40, 40 days, the in their homes they will be conducting the online meditation. Okay, uh, at least uh, any, any they will be uh, bringing calling their friends and. They, anyone can come to their home and meditate at least for three hours, nine to twelve uh, meditation. Of course, those for not good occasions, they'll be lying down or sleeping after that. But all the good occasions will be continuing all night meditations. All at the Master, Master Shivratri. And also, whenever possible in the weekends, also uh, they'll be facilitating if anybody wants to come to their home and meditate 24 hours without opening eyes. What happens is we here, whenever we spend our own self, when the when we spend the time with our own self, without the cell phone, without the Laptop screen. So this what happens is this is called dopamine detoxification happens. A lot of focus, attention, a lot of uh, body mind detoxification happens. Amazingly, they'll they'll see the benefit within one day. After 24 hours onwards, they'll be seeing the drastically changes. So that's that's one thing. And uh, we'll be conducting uh Naimi Sharanya workshop uh, in the actually tomorrow I'm uh, going uh, starting to Naimi Sharanya workshop. There's also 10 day workshop. They also uh, we are spending the time where Kali, Kali doesn't enter. Okay, Kali Yuga Prabhava is not there. That means the influence of Kali is not there. So, so that uh, divine place we are going and meditating. I'm, I'm, I, the agenda is to teach them advanced Kudakrisha levels. So, and anyone can join. But uh, amazingly, next level of advanced programs also happens. Those who completed 49 Kudakrisha, for them, we will be teaching much more awareness and sleeping. First 40 days is Sitting and sleeping only. Sit and sleep. Okay, even if you relax and sleep, you can lie down, back support, and everything. This is not lying down, completely flat, but a little bit relax and take back support and stretch your legs, everything. First of all, it is sit and sleep only. We say sit and sleep, that also gives you more energy. You only that. Next, next workshops, also advanced workshops, we'll be teaching how to sit without back support or you know, 
for some time, half an hour, one hour, and you know, slowly, slowly, how to uh, gain more awareness, deep sleep plus awareness. That's a that's a Gurakesha power. Okay, meditation is sleep plus awareness, but Gurakesha is deep sleep mastery with the only awareness only it's possible. Okay, so these are the some things and speed reading uh, workshop also we can uh, it's an online workshop. Uh, uh, we conducted many times. Uh, you can anyone uh, they can go through that videos and get the videos at uh, register to that workshop and get the videos and they can see instantaneously within within one or two days their speed will be double, double their speed. That's a guarantee. And many people are uh, some people got ten times also their speed increased when they practice regularly after after attending the course that the speed levels increase to the 10 times. Amazing, right? And uh, speed and memory, speed reading and memory retention, everything uh, they'll be learning in that workshop. So these are the important workshops. Sometimes I will conduct three-day workshops also, the physical presence. Now every Shivaratri we'll be conducting at least three to four day workshop. And every Navaratri, uh, we are connecting this blindfold with a, a massively, last time uh, around 800 to 10,000 uh, people attended in the Navaratri workshop, blindfold. With blindfoldness uh, meditation they did amazingly uh, they got so much benefits blissfulness they got connected i'm really fortunate to conduct this such a free workshop most of the workshops 90 percentage of our workshops are free so um, some workshops we conduct to just some facilitation and to facilitate this free workshops also we conduct some workshops uh, uh paid workshops that will be there but that's how uh, these are things going on currently Beautifully explained and thank you for all the details that you have given. And yes, in, in the USA, when you have conducted 24 hours of uh, your dark room meditation, it was amazing. That is when I thought, yes, I have to do this. And I've joined the 40 days uh, Gudakesha um, uh, course. Um, thank you so much for all your time <clears throat> and your pearls of wisdom. They have really left a huge impact on me and I'm definitely sure Everybody who is watching this are gaining a lot through the pearls and all the wisdom of your experience and how you came up with this program of Gura Kesha meditation and uh, all the practical experiences that you have shared with us and experiences of others are uh, definitely a lot to learn from. So thank you, sir, once again for taking your so much valuable time for such a long session and gracing us with all your wisdom. Thank you very much for uh, coming, with, coming up with so many questions and uh, having this interview. Uh, may this interview uh, will be helpful for so many people to have the clarity in their lives. From the past 22 years, with my experience, this experience may reach to others. Uh, if, they, if anybody, after seeing this interview, if they their meditation time, if they increase for even 30 minutes more, this interview, at least for a few people, then this interview is a successful. And uh, if uh, some people learn the Gudakesha art of meditating all night, amazingly, their energy levels are increasing and consciousness levels are expanding and aura increasing. So many benefits are there. And then when they're doing Gudakesha, two, three things I will be sharing. Some people reported that their fears are gone completely. Like they're they're not they they were not doing all nighttime meditation at all because they have the fear of night and fear of many things. So all the fears, not one, two, or three, hundreds of fears, everything shattered, completely cleared. So many people I see that, and uh, because fear of death, fear of attachment, fear fear of losing some close ones, uh, so many fears are clearing. That's one thing, and so many people having the back pain. The major uh, good Akisha success is. Uh, so many hundreds of people uh, came, uh, got the relief from the back pain. Their back, are, because they are sitting all night and meditating, their back is becoming stronger and stronger every day. All the back pains are gone. Even the people who are doctors have recommended surgery also, their back pain also gone, gone from many hundreds of people. The next thing is sleep mastery. Those who are having insomnia and so many health problems, all the health problems are coming because of the proper, not having proper sleep. Okay, majorly all the stress and anxiety, all the psychosomatic diseases, everything comes because everything affects anybody, everybody's sleep. But here, Gudakesha is sleep mastery. Everybody, those who are having Apple Watch also, any other digital watch, 
their sleep time is doubling deep sleep time is quality of sleep everything is increasing although we are sitting and um, meditating but your body is completely relaxing then not not so you meditate that's what i i say that foundation is deep sleep after that you construct the awareness building okay you need to first lay down the foundation once your body let your body sleep then not so you meditate so in a sitting posture of course sitting posture or initially you can take back support after that without back support also you need to sit and you need to show the deep sleep time okay that's what uh, many people so many people antidepressants and many tablets they were take they were taking 15 tablets every day they are taking those they, they reduced within few days seven tablets within few days three tablets one tablet half tablet they stopped the tablet because they, they're getting the proper sleep they stopped the tablet and they're getting still proper body relaxation is happening their focus energy levels are amazing productivity levels are increasing so many benefits are coming with the guda kesha so dr hari kumar sir called me and said hey prabod whatever the program you you are doing amazing if anybody is doing half an hour meditation only they are getting so many benefits if they are doing they are doing the online meditation definitely this program is going to get successful amazingly he told patri ji also released guda kesha post uh, book in the dhyana mahachakra telugu post and telugu book he reviewed personally 70% of the content he reviewed and uh, amazingly he spent time uh, probably one of the last book he reviewed his last book reviewed is my book uh, our book only guda kesha book only that's what i feel then he also told about guda kesha is a amazing program okay this is the best program he told he is very happy with our program guda kesha and uh, always encouraged me the best project you took in pss is guda kesha he told okay i'm uh, that kind of a motivation that kind of inspiration he told he mentioned the best word best project word guda kesha he named it as and his patriji's dream is uh, uh in the in the message patriji messages book he mentioned one uh, clearly mentioned the fourth page he mentioned what is your dream he mentioned that currently in all the countries everybody is sleeping together as a groups in the family members everybody but in the future i dream that i see that my dream is everybody all night meet it meet it whole country people all family members everybody meditate all night that is his dream so for his dream only we are working towards so it's not uh, no some people doesn't have this doesn't know this one people think that psm is only half an hour meditation no that's uh, that's only certain truth only psm started with all night meditation okay so that's a, that's a, patriji's dream also that one all night meditation friends so i want all the psm members also to support me definitely support this movement okay because uh, that is patriji's team but uh, support this patriji's team of course we'll work on that one if any uh, some misconceptions and judgments some people comments and everything might be there and have the clarity people uh, without knowing they comment sometimes <laughs> and some rumors and because everything might be there but have the truth see the truth okay uh that's what one uh, comment i got that guda uh, kesha people force other people how can we force <laughs> no forcing is there okay everybody is having freedom freedom to, to choose okay go according to your own we say that according to your body supports your mind supports your family members and situation supports everything to so balance everything okay, with the balance only we can grow to the highest level so with the balance only with the proper relaxation proper balance only we can uh, evolve okay so thank you friends thank you very much thank you for the amazing uh, interview and i uh, wish you all the best and i uh, wish this that wish that uh, this interview also uh, goes to many people and after this interview everybody understand that power of guda uh, kesha and then they'll, they'll also start uh, joining the course and doing uh, this course uh, and doing the, their meditation journey also taking to the whole next level okay if anybody uh, doing on their own it will take little bit time for them okay, on their own that's the reason after experimenting myself and after uh, teaching to thousands of people the wisdom summary i created so that you can when you learn come and learn with me you can in this course you can learn very fastest way your 10 years of 25 years of progress happens within if you do two three guda kesha course within one year it will happen 
Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Definitely. I know we are all going to, we are all together. We are all one. And the freedom is itself the essence of PSSM. And there is no forcing or uh, any kind of compulsion on anybody. It has to come from the heart and from within. And I know we, all the viewers, myself, we will get the essence of what you have told today, what you have explained us today, and definitely take our spiritual journey at a faster uh, pace and we'll progress further. Thank you. Thank you very much.